as you have created, the most stunning book. Yeah. Well, that's what it says here anyway, but no, I, totally, I totally agree. You're making a recipe from it this morning. Yeah, that's right. We've got all week, and I'm going to do recipes out of this book, and we're going to kick it off today with a kingfish ceviche. So this is perfect for summer, really fresh, so it's raw marinated kingfish. Got a beautiful loin here, and lots of fresh flavours, lots of Thai-influenced uh, this is a dish with Thai influence. Um, chili jam, and we're going to make a nam jim as well, which is just like a nice coriander uh, sauce. Nice work, and we are very proud of you. It is an absolute beautiful book, and we know how much of a wonderful chef you are, so now everybody can share in that joy, and we'll let you know how you can get hold of a copy of Mark's book very soon. Great to see you finally have a book out, Mark. This is beautiful. Well done. Thank you. Thank what was you. the inspiration behind it? You know, when you were thinking, I'm going to put a book together, what were you inspired by, apart uh, from me, of course? Well, <laughs> <laughs> just the time working with you, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, the, all the wonderful and beautiful produce from New Zealand. So nice. throughout the book, you know, we've got all these special ingredients there from all over the country and then all recipes made with those ingredients. I know, and look, just be absolute beautiful pictures, beautifully set out, hardcover too. You've gone mm -hmm. top end, mate, yeah, gone yeah. top end. No, no, it is. It's so good. We'll show you. We'll show you how you can get your copy of that. And you know, he's a chef at one of the country's best restaurants. He's on our tallies every morning. This is a cookbook every single house in New Zealand should have. Did you like that? Yeah, no, that's that great. The top of my head, mate. Top of and my if, head. And if I can just add something, it is the perfect Christmas present. Oh, it is. There you go. Okay, so we're going to be making from this book. Yep. Some so it's going to make a, a kingfish ceviche, so perfect for summer, it's coming up this time of year. Nice. Got this beautiful kingfish line here, so game fish, really uh, lean, so we don't want to, we're not even going to cook it, we're just going to uh, flavour it, we're going to cure it slightly in some lime juice. But first of all, I'm just going to make a really quick pickle. So that is Smell just that. straight vinegar, and sugar, sugar, and I'm just putting it together, I'm just swirling it so it dissolves, and I'm just going to bring it to the boil. You don't okay. want to keep cooking it. Just so as it comes up and all the sugar's dissolved, then you can turn it off, let it cool down, and then that gives you the pickling liquid. So you get this whole sweet and sour balance. And then we're just going to do a really quick pickle of some onions, radish, and cucumber. Let me turn it off now. Yep, it's turn done. it off. That's there you it. Go. See, Sorted. this is how easy it is. Right, kingfish. So we're going to marinate this, but you only need to marinate it probably, uh, and start curing it for about sort of five minutes before you plate the dish. So okay. it's, a, it's a quick one. But we've got this beautiful line, so really nice sharp knife. And then we're just going to do some nice uh, dices of uh, kingfish like that. Right, so we're looking at about one centimetre thick. Yeah, maybe, even we? even a little bit sort of smaller. Okay. You know, sort of like like that. Oh, nice, nice. Nice pieces like that. Just cut it through. Nice little cubes. Yeah, little cubes. And then we're going to season it and cure it. So we're using lime juice to cure it. A little bit of salt, and then we're going to start putting some textures on there. Nice work. Right, so that goes into the bowl. That's a beautiful looking piece of kingfish you've got there. So oh, it's really good, and it's yeah. great, and it's so healthy as well. Health, that's what we like. Health and flavour. <laughs> Combine them, beautiful. All right, so get that, get the fish in. Nice. So that's in there. All right, we want a little bit of uh, citrus oil. So it's a beautiful, like uh, extra virgin olive oil, but it's been flavoured with some citrus peels. So you just get that nice, sort of fresh citrusy. Uh, Taste going on, so a little bit of oil on there, a little bit of salt goes in, you can do a touch of pepper, and then what we want to do is cure it in lime juice. So that's going to give us a, a nice fresh flavour, and it's going to just sort of slowly start curing. So then you, you have a look at the kingfish in about five minutes, and it'll just start to go a little bit white. So that goes in, just lightly toss it around, and that's all it is, just leave it like that. And then just before we serve, we've got this beautiful mix here. So this is full of texture. This is called the frikake mix. So this is sort of a Japanese influence. A frikake uh, mix? Frikake. So okay. it's uh, uh, nori seaweed, dried seaweed, wasabi, and sesame seeds. So this is like a seasoning, but full of texture. Really good. We're going to pop that on there about a couple of minutes just before we... Uh, Take it out. Are you yeah. sharing all the secrets? Yeah, I know. It? Okay, look, you even do desserts. Look at that incredible picture. That is what you can make. Is this what you can make from your book? Well, this is what you can make. And actually, that cone oh. was made by uh, Giappo. So he's got a really nice. cool ice cream shop in Auckland. And uh, so he's one of my mates. So I was like, oh, I need a, a New Zealand-inspired cone. And that's what he came up with. From Mark's book, Southern Cooking, we are making a very first recipe from this book. This is very exciting. This is book number one, I noticed. This is the, the very first one, <laughs> isn't it? the very, very first book. It's worth a fortune. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll take that home. Rightio, so we've got our kingfish. <laughs> it's been curing. Curing, yeah. So you can see it there. You can see it's starting to go sort of white on the yeah. edge. So, so cool. that's that's curing or sometimes referred to as cooking. I'm going to put a little bit of chilli in there for some nice heat and some freshness. You know, it's sort of Thai inspired. Mm. And then Smell we've got good. this frikake mix, which I'm going to put in there as well. So you okay. can give that a really good stir around. Sweet as. 
Got some vegetables here, which we're just going to lightly pickle. So we've got some radishes, so just thinly sliced. And then that goes into a bowl. A uh, little bit of cucumber as well, so you've got that nice theme of nice sort of fresh ingredients there. You know, leave the skin on, it's going to do a nice little dice. And then that is going to go into the bowl. Nice. Hardest, hardest part of putting the book together? Hardest part of putting the book together? So photos or choosing recipe? Oh, yeah, I mean, there's so many recipes I've done over the years, so it's just getting those recipes into the book, you know? You, you, you can just keep going. You could have a book about this thick if you wanted. Right, and so but the thing is I've noticed too with your book is that you've got a little section of basics in there. Yep, yep. That's because you've worked with me for a while. Yeah. So <laughs> some people need to know the basics. <laughs> no, no, which I love, yeah. No, and, that, and that's building blocks of all these dishes, you know? So there's very, the very sort of much, you know, the simple dishes, what you can do at home, but some uh, restaurant dishes as well in there. You know, if you're sort of a keen home cook and you want to sort of like do a nice dinner party and pr impress your friends, you know, you can do that. But you need the basics in there to put the building blocks to create these dishes as well. Nice work, okay. Right. Well, we're still, we're still cranking with this. So you, so you can put a splash of that in there, yes. and then yep. that's just going to cure. Okay. Uh, it's just going to pickle, sorry, so that'll take two, three minutes. In here, we're going to make the Nam Jim, right? So this is probably going to be the worst recipe ever for Jesse, because he hates it. Oh, the yeah. Nam Jim is going to, it's just basically a Thai coriander sauce. So talking about Thai cooking, we've got lime juice in there, we've got brown sugar in there, we've got some fish sauce in there. Yum. What we're going to do as well, we're going to put a little bit of ice in there, and that's going to okay. keep it cold yeah. as we blend. And then we're going to put all this coriander in there as well. Okay, oh nice. Juicy Everest is going to love that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know, yeah. Yep. We just want to, we'll just tell them it's parsley. So yeah, true. Right. <laughs> so that all goes in there. And you've got the fish sauce, so that's the saltiness in there as well. Okay. And I am just going to pop oh, that on. Smell that coriander. Yeah, so this is going to be really fresh, full of flavour. And we're just going to blend that. Keep blending it, it'll go nice and green. And then, got a little bit, I'll keep blending it. So you want to blend it probably about four or five minutes, that's why we put the ice on it, because okay. it'll get too hot, it'll go brown. And then we've got this little sort of powder concoction here, which is called xanthan gum. Okay. And this is available in sort of, you know, specialist food shops or health food stores. And basically you can just add a few pinches in here and it's just going to slightly thicken it, you know, without any heat. And that's just going to hold on the plate. Still wants to be quite runny and fresh and, and uh, not too thick and gluggy but just a little pinch on there. If you can't get hold of it, you don't need to do that. It's, kind, it's fine, it's all about the colour. Nice though, but I love the fact you're sharing some of your secrets with us in your and book, then, that's uh, awesome. And then another little garnish on the plate. So we've got two sauces, the coriander nam jim, and we've got a nice chilli jam as well, which the recipe is in the book. Nice work, okay. Well, as you said, New Zealand food done to perfection, and that is probably the ethos of your book, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, nice work. And if you'd like to buy a copy of Mark's book, Southern Cooking, which, as we said, will be the perfect Christmas gift, then we have a special cafe offer. Thank you, Mark, thank you. Just call <laughs> 0800 550 now, and you'll receive $5 off the retail price. Thank you. Is that just a deal for the cafe? Yeah, viewers? just cafe Good viewers. Man. Thank so. you. Go on, support Mark. Keep his family fit. Southern Cooking! Whee! Look at it over. Nice. It's all plated up ready. Oh, oh yum! Fish there, the chilli jam, and we've got the Nam Jim here. Wow. Sort of my favourite things. There you go. Nice work. I'll try that.